what's up YouTube so I'm here at the shop again it's a late night it was a good day today but basically what I got going on today is I was doing some research on the forums about my M20 and I found out that if I'm going over 10 psi of boost uh, it's recommended that I weld the head so I'm at this point now where I already had the springs inside the cylinder head everything was basically done but now I'm second guessing myself. So what I'm gonna do is weld the head. I'm getting a lot of mixed feelings about it with all my coworkers, but honestly, I'm gonna just experiment with it and just get it done. Cause I'd rather get it done and not have to worry about it if the situation ever comes up. So the goal right now is to disassemble everything again, get it bare. I'm gonna hot tank it, get it clean, and then uh, prep everything for some welding. So once I get to that point, I'll start shooting some videos for you guys, but that's basically my situation right now. So if you guys want to tag along, I'm doing all this for you guys. You know, there's all this experimenting. So for the E30 community, all the M20 turbo guys, just to see if it's really worth welding the head. So I'm gonna get right into it. Stay tuned and yeah. So I already got the head mocked up. I had to clamp it to the mill because you have to clamp the head. If not, it's going to warp. But for what it is right now, it looks pretty good. I got some welds on already, as you can see. So since that's welded, I'm letting it cool down to do like little heat cycles. But I'm uh, transferring from corner to corner and like working my way in. But after I'm all welded, I'll show you guys how it comes out and I'll see if I throw it on the resurfacer to make it flat. So overall though, it's not that bad. I mean, you just gotta preheat the metal good and make sure you do that because if not, you're gonna get cold aluminum and it ain't gonna last, so. Yep, but other than that, looking good. Hell yeah.